fellow brothers and sisters here in the Manila Park. This is a city and I'm here to give a message to you all. Come closer brother. We're here, this is the, they, they believe to, this, this statue over here is the first hero of the Philippines. His name is called Lupa Lupa. Lapo Lapo. And, and what's it called? Lapo Lapo. Lapo Lapo is believed to be the first ever hero. And everyone in the whole world, there are heroes in Africa, there are heroes in Asia, there are heroes in Europe, there are heroes in North America, there are heroes in South America, there are heroes in the Caribbean, in Madagascar and Australia. But there's only one hero and his name is Jesus Christ. I've come to this land. This is the capital city. I just got out of the village to give this message to you. Now, I really want to emphasize on this message that we share to you. I'm reading from the book of Acts, chapter 16. I want you to listen very carefully because I will have a prayer after this. Now, in the book of Acts, chapter 16, verse 24, it says, Having received such a charge, he put them into inner prison and fasten their feet in the stalks. But at midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, and the prisoners were listening to them. Suddenly, there was a great earthquake, so that the foundation of the prison was shaken, and immediately all the doors were opened, and everyone's chains was loose, and the keeper of the prison, awakening from sleep and seeing the prison doors opened. Supposedly, the prisoner had fled. He drew his sword and was about to kill himself. But Paul called with a loud voice, saying, Do yourself no harm, for we are here. Then he called for light and ran in and fell down trembling before Paul and Silas. And he brought them out and said, Sir, what must I do to be safe? So they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved, you and your household. Come on. Fellow brothers and sisters, we have a story of Paul and Silas. Just exactly as I am, they came to Asia, as I did. And they were preaching about Jesus Christ, yet they were facing persecution and trials. They did not pray that God should take them out of that persecution, but they prayed that God would comfort them by the Spirit. So we see here that they were locked up. The Bible said they put them in the inner chambers. They put them in a place. You know, I was once locked up in jail. There's a place called the lock room where they lock you even when you're in jail. So they were locked up in that place so much that no one could see them. But at midnight, the Bible says Paul and Silas were singing hymns and praying to God. And the power of God came down so mightily like an earthquake. The Bible says that the doors were shut, were open and chains were loose and the prisoners were loose. What is that? Everyone has a hero. There's a power in prayer and worship. Don't let the devil stop your praise and your worship. Because when there's high praise, the chains will break. Paul and Silas being in a place where they could complain, where they could murmur about God. But they remain worshiping and praising God and thanking Him. And the power of God came down and destroyed every chain and destroyed every shackles. Even the other prisoners were set free. What example do we learn from that? There's power in your prayer. There's power in your praise. But your praise needs to be connected to the word of God. Your praise needs to be connected to God. So that God will hear and move. Jesus Christ is the hero. As you can see, we're in this place. This guy here was supposed to be the hero. But everyone is looking for a hero. But the only hero is Jesus Christ. I'm in this place in Manila. This is the city of the Philippines. And I'm seeing God move mightily. I'm seeing young kids hungry for God. But there are so many people in chains. I'm talking of... I'm talking of mental chain, emotional chain, physical chain, and spiritual chain. Everyone in the whole world wants to be set free. We want leaders to set us free. We want to go to the UN. We want to go to the police. But only Jesus Christ can set chains that are spiritual free. Paul and Silas, spiritual chains were set free. So they were not worrying about their physical chains. They knew that God was going to hear their prayer. They believed in God in their worship and in their prayer. So I'm calling everyone out. As Paul and Silas remain in prayer, prayer is your connection to the heart of God, in the word of God. Prayer in faith moves heaven. So fellow brothers and sisters, you see the story here? Jesus Christ came down 
in the form of an earthquake and destroy shackles. And we have a, we, 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 we the, the Bible says that the man, the warden, the man who owned the jail came out. He was about to kill himself because he was afraid of what the higher authority would say about this. And Paul said, no, don't do that. Here we are. We are not afraid. We are not running away. The power of God has set us free. And he trembled and came in the feet of Paul and said, what can I do? What may I do to be safe? And he heard the answer. Paul said, believe in our Lord Jesus Christ and you and your household. Very simple. You know, people want to go to heaven by paying their way or they have other religions, teach you good works and money and everything. But Jesus Christ has made it so simple. All we have to do is believe. As you can see, you have a closer look of the hero. That is his, his monument is here, but it's not alive. He's dead, he's gone. According to God, he's no hero, but according to the nation, he's a hero. We are talking about a hero who lives, who died on the cross for the forgiveness of sins, who bleeded on the cross for us and who stay alive. People are looking for physical heroes, but we have a spiritual hero, and his name is Jesus Christ. So I want to pray for each and every one of you all in the name of Jesus. I pray that every chain that the devil, that Satan, that demons have bound you in, I pray that you be broken in the name of Jesus. I pray mental chain be broken, spiritual chain be broken, physical chain be broken. Right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, emotional chain be broken, be set free. Believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Shalom. Amen.